I'm super excited because I'm gonna show you what I got. Dun, 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 dun. This is so cool! So here's a quick bump check for those of you guys asking. Getting high off my own supply. Do I like this background? Mm, I need to fix that. Look at that. That's the light. It's falling down. I told my corporate facilities guy, Peter, my husband, to fix it, and it's still not fixed. I'm gonna have to write him up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Judith, and this is Urban Wanderlust. Today is shipment day, and I'm super excited because I finally got my gold tins in, and they're the right color. Let me show you. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. I ordered about like 300 of them. It's a huge box. And I ended up going back to the website because I thought, is 300 enough? Yeah, it is. But I wanted more because I didn't want to have to go through what I went through this season. When I went back to go buy some more, completely sold out. Um, and I'm like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. But that's what happens. Um, but for now, I have a good 300 in stock. And I feel like that's going to be sufficient for the holiday and to kind of get me through into spring, maybe. I hope so. Um, did that. Then I also got some wicks. I bought a box of a thousand and I'm super excited to show you guys this. So my husband and I can never wait till Christmas to actually open our Christmas presents. So we opened it last night. I'm gonna show you what I got. Da -da -da -da. I got the Shopify counter and I'm so excited. I have not opened it yet. I want to wait. I wanted to wait and do it together with you guys so we can kind of do an unboxing and set it, setting it up. So this is a brand new product offered by Shopify. You can link it to your Shopify account and every time you get a sale, the counter just like ticks off. It's kind of like a nice way to motivate yourself to push a little bit more and to get those sales in. So he saw me looking at it and I was like, no, I'm not gonna get it because it's super expensive, but he got it for me for Christmas and I'm so excited. So let's open this up. Dun, dun, dun. Excited. So cool stickers that I probably won't use. <laughs> Oh my God, so this is it. So cute, so what is this? This is like a little wiper, a little cloth to wipe. Here we have the plug. Let me get the camera set up in a different way so we can record this better. Oh my God, this is so cool. I love it already. Okay, so let's set her up. I'm so excited for this. Okay, those are not the instructions. These are the instructions over here. Okay, I cannot wait to get this all set up. Take everything out of the box. All right, so I just have to log into this website. Let's take the plastic off. I think I'm gonna put it up here. Um, does it have hooks to hang? Oh, it does. So I can kind of hang it on the wall. Do I wanna hang it or do I just wanna put it on the shelf? I think for now I'll just clean this up, organize that up a little bit and just put it on the shelf. No, I think the wall is better because then it's out of the way because then I'm using the shelf for this instead of storage but I'll probably still clean that up because that looks messy. I feel like I have to clean up the studio before I even start playing with my with my new toy because the mess is kind of bothering me. Um, so these are some candles that I, I made last night. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the shelves, put this away, um, and then maybe clean up here so that I can set up my new toy and play with her. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's get started with that real quick. So here's a quick bump check for those of you guys asking. We've been doing good. I'm officially seven months and yeah, we're chugging along and it's another two months and then she'll be, she's all baked and ready to hang out with us. I 
haven't shown you guys, but I did add little labels on each section here just so that I can remember which fragrance goes where because what I've decided to do is not label my candles until they're sold because I've noticed that the type of labels that I have, they're very matte and they can sometimes get scratched. Here, see how this one is? It's kind of like scratched on the bottom there. Yeah, so I hate that. So I always switch it out before I ship it out to a customer. So I have switched out the kind of labels that I use and now I'm using a very semi-gloss label. So it's not gonna have that much shine, but at least it won't scratch as often as these do. So I added all of the names and that kind of helps me keep things in order. I was gonna buy these little dividers, but I decided against that because then if I have a divider here, then it limits the amount of candle jars that I'm able to put there. So that's like that for now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give these away because they don't fit my lip balm tubes. This one is like ginormous, it's really too big. This one is, I don't even know what it is, but this one's definitely way too small. So if you guys are interested in these lip balm tubes, I will give them to you. You just have to pay for shipping. Um, leave me a comment down below and we'll talk and I'll send these to you because I'm not using it. I've never used it. It doesn't even fit my stuff. I don't even know what size it is. Um, so I guess I need to figure out what size it is and I'll let you know, but then I'll leave it down in the comments and you guys can have them because I don't use them. Now I need to get these tins into the closet. I don't even know if they're all gonna fit in there, but let's figure it out. I'm not even gonna open it. I'm just gonna leave it in the plastic. Take it out. Uh, I don't want to. Actually, if I leave it in the plastic, it'll be easier for me to count how many I need to take out since they're already pre packed. Alright, let's pretend that's the reason why. to this website and set everything up real quick this is so cool what is it doing i thought it was counting <laughs> well i think it is i think it's activating <gasps> okay so it's two three days later and my counter's not set up it looks like this 
the stripe panel is actually supposed to be in the first box, but for some reason this one keeps dropping down to zero. And I've tried calling the support team. They've helped me recalibrate it or reset the whole thing. And it just keeps doing that. So it's a little disappointing. So it sucks because I'm not able to connect it. Um, for some reason, it's not connecting to the Wi-Fi and this whole number digit thing is off. Um, and Peter is so upset because he feels like he got me a bum gift for Christmas, but it's totally not his fault and he knows that. So we're trying to exchange it. Um, we're working with Shopify to do the exchange. We've been troubleshooting for like two, three days straight. It's actually really exhausting. Um, so that was a fail. It didn't work. Uh, we're gonna try to exchange it, see if we can get it to work. Um, I know a couple of other businesses that have it. So I don't know what's going on. I actually called my internet provider to see if there was something wrong with our internet service. There wasn't, everything's working um, the way it should be. But for some reason we can't connect. Um, it's not finding the Wi-Fi connection. And then also that digit is off one panel. So that sucks because I'm not able to give you the video that I was hoping to record. Um, it's working. I'm so excited. We finally got it to work. Okay, so while I was editing this video to post it up, my wonderful husband decided, let me give it one more shot. I'm like, honey, just leave it alone. Let's exchange it, let's return it. I don't even want it, I'm pissed off. And he's like, no, 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 I'm gonna make it work because he's stubborn like that, but stubborn in a good way. So he started messing around with it and basically what he had to do was completely disconnect our Wi-Fi so that we weren't connecting to our Wi-Fi second-handedly, I don't even know how that works. What he had to do was completely disconnect our Wi-Fi, connect to the Smurl Wi-Fi, which is the manufacturer of the counter, um, connect through there, set it up, and then reconnect our router to work. It sounds more complicated than what it is, but I don't know why he thought of it, but he did. I'm just glad that he did. Um, so now it's working and I'm very excited. Let me show you. So here it is. I'm super excited that it's finally working and that we got the first panel blank the way it should be. So there's a couple of different ways that you can set up your counter. You can have it track your orders or you can have it track your sales. So the way that the counter works is it can track one of two things. It can track all of your orders, which are all of the orders that have ever been placed on your Shopify domain. You can do it on a weekly basis, daily basis, and also your lifetime. You can have it also track your sales, which include your online orders and your in-person sales, like at pop-up events, um, street fairs, things like that. Since the counter only tracks my Shopify orders, I also wanted to add my Etsy sales because I spent two years of my business on Etsy and then two years on Shopify. So on Etsy, I made about 537 orders. These are just tracking my online orders, not even including in-person sales. Um, and then on Shopify, I made about 729 orders. So together that would be around 1,296. You can push a hard keyed number to the counter, but then you would have to manually update it yourself and I didn't want that. I kind of wanted the excitement of seeing the counter flip over every time I got a sale. So I'm only tracking Shopify orders on the counter and not the combined total of Etsy and Shopify. I probably should have recorded us on the phone troubleshooting with the Shopify support team, but I was kind of frustrated and I was not in a good place. Uh, I was really upset, like probably on the verge of wanting to cry, but um, I didn't cry. Um, so I wasn't even thinking about recording, but I probably should have, it would have been good footage. But anyway, so for now, I'm super excited that it's working and I'm glad to say that we're able to end this video on a happy note and that I'm smiling and not frustrated. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.